Bradley's going to need to be quick as a flash in order to avoid the strikes and the punches of Alec Hoobin. That's how we saw Hoobin. Oh, you see it's going right after it here. That's a smart move by Bradley, taking him straight down. Got him right up against the cage and riding him here. But look at him going for the submission and wow. pulls himself up. What strength by Hoobin. Straight up athleticism. And now Bradley, he's going to try to get some sort of control. He's definitely frustrating Eubin, it looks like here. Eubin now playing beat defense, fighting from the ground. He's got the arm bolt. Oh, boy. Like, if he can hit it. Oh. Smart move, slipping out of that, because that would have been a submission. Oh. Accidental shot right there. We're going to get a break. Bill Bookwalter calls for time. And not done on purpose. Just see it in a moment. Bookwalter, a former MMA fighter himself. He certainly understands the fighter's mentality. Great referee. Former broadcast partner here in Locked in the Cage. Him some time. All right. Ref says go. Both men had the same idea. Oh, one shot. He's rocked. There's that punch of power that got him the victory in his last fight. Now bearing the knee. Again, those knees set up for those punches. Yeah, Bradley has to know when to cover. Movement's like a machine. He can just sense where that opening is. There's no hesitation from him thus far in anything he does. And Hoobin's slipping in his arm. He can get a choke here. Bradley felt it coming. Pop right up. Nice knee into the midsection. Another one. And now Bradley riding Hoobin against the cage again. Those knees are finding their mark here, and as this round goes on, it's going to cause Bradley to lose a lot of wind. Not much time left in this round. There's the and, warning. And, and, and there could be the submission right here. You better hurry up. And he held on. I can see Wayne. Grabbed the arm, trying not to go flat in. Not enough time in the round, though, and Bradley got saved by the bell. Yeah, I'm not sure Hoban really had that hold in to the point of torque that he wanted, the point of tightness. I'm not sure he had the time to set it up properly, but I'll tell you what, Hoban looking like the freaking Terminator so far in this first round. He is just go, 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 attack, attack, attack. He comes in with that Muay Thai background, training for that MMA, AMA fight club, and he wasted no time with strikes. As we said, when he beat Arian Clinton back in July, straight punches, 55 seconds in the first round, so he didn't have to work long then. Here, he's got to bring it to round two. Impressive showing by Bradley to hold him off, though, and survive round one. Bradley's got a look on his face that sort of says, what the heck am I dealing with here? Oh, nice kick there. And you see Bradley trying to take Hoobin back down. And those kicks are designed to set up for that overhand left that Hoobin likes to throw. Oh, another beautiful kick there. You have to wonder if Bradley is trying to wear Hoobin out a little bit, let him punch himself out, just to slow him down enough. That could be a strategy, as long as he doesn't get hit in the process. And now you see Bradley getting in with a good shot. Going in with that left jab. Trying to use the left jab to set up for the overhand right. been very cautious now to uh, it, try to avoid that jab and he uh -oh. gets knocked out. Could be a slip. 
Hoven look a little, I don't want to say clumsy, but a little less sure of himself now. Oh, uh, not the mouthpiece out. Referee's going to stop it here. stoppage while the uh, while Bradley gets his mouthpiece back in. And that may actually help Bradley get some a breather here. I think both men could use a breather at that point, but we'll see what happens here. Again, very tinted. Oh, we've been calling them as he came in. Very tentative, though. Both men are really measuring what they do now. Well, it seems that Bradley is abandoning the ground game and going straight up with Ruben. And now trying to muscle Ruben back in the cage. And you see Ruben with those knees into the gut. Uh-oh. Now Bradley found himself in trouble. Oh, nice uppercut there. Bradley was getting in some shots at the end of the round. I don't know how much he had behind him, though. I'm not sure how much either man had behind them, and uh, I don't really know how much either man has left at this point. Both seem very, very affected by the hard-hitting nature of these first two rounds. Well, Alec Kubin's no stranger to going into the third round. I mean, he's done it once before, ended up losing that decision. So you got to wonder if that's on his mind here, because going into the third round, doesn't want to have the judges decided once again for him. Well, you pointed out before, Sean, Bradley seemed to abandon his ground game and preferred to go straight up in the second round, face to face, toe to toe with Hoobin. Does he see a weakness? Does he see a susceptibility there now? experience of Bradley here, especially in a third round situation like this, coming in a little sloppy in the technique here, and open a shot just like that from Cuban. Oh, but he caught Cuban coming in. Bradley going right after him, and there's a shot that caught him right in the back of the ear, and his equilibrium is off here, Strauss. Bradley realizing it, pushing Hubert into the cage. Both men have taken some oh, off shots. Oh, shot. There's that overhand left we talked about. And Hubert looking to bury the knees into the midsection. And again, Bradley retreats to the cage. There's blood here, Sean. He has got to pounce, and he's got to do it now. The clock is counting down. Bradley looks like he's try, trying to survive this third round. I think Hoover may want the referee to step in here. Anyway, Bradley's exposed. I'm trying to muscle him over. Nothing there for Bradley at all. No, he may be a sitting duck. Or a standing duck, anyway. Look at Hoover easily... Getting out of this. Hoover better watch out here. Oh. Now he, his neck's exposed and he's caught in a choke. Bad mistake for Hoover. He thought he had a good position. Instead, he got stuck. And you don't want to make a mistake this late in the game here. Hoover trying to figure out a way out of the choke. Will Bradley steal this round and perhaps steal the decision? And there's a nice escape. Ruben got out of it. And that's the end of the round. Very interesting fight. You see, Bradley so it looks like he's disappointed in himself with that performance. Well, it certainly looked like it could have gone either way at different points during the fight. Both men putting out a hell of an effort, landing some pretty devastating shots on one another at different points, and certainly a sampling 
of both of their abilities and maybe things to come for them in their careers. You started to wonder as the fight went on, did Bradley sort of uh, avoided his technique and try to out-muscle Newman into this fight? He's got to develop more of a stand-up game if he wants to continue here in the lightweight heavyweight division. It's that classic question, was he brave or was he stupid? Not sure how well conceived that strategy was to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ubin. But we'll see how it all turns out as we await the referee's decision. That blood you're talking about, a cut in the back of the neck of, of Ubin. Not serious, though. That could have been a scratch. I think well, Ubin's got this fight, but we'll see what the judges say as we take it to Maven Bentley for the official decision.